to fight the opioid epidemic from an organization called RX Abuse Leadership Initiative of Indiana. The grant announcement took place today at Lafayette City Hall, and News 18's Anna Darling was there to learn more. Hey, Anna. Hey, Demi. Yeah, 46 people die each day from prescription drug overdose in the United States. And the money that of this grant will go towards lowering that number here in the Hoosier State by focusing on education and proper drug disposal. It's another way of collaborating, bringing people together in a common goal. And that goal is to bring the number of Hoosiers dying from drug overdoses down. Raleigh of Indiana is giving $50,000 to an organization called Accelerate Indiana Municipalities, also known as AIM. The grant money will help communities with educational materials, help continue to get the word out about what's taking place with opioids. Lafayette Mayor Tony Rozworski says the opioid epidemic doesn't discriminate. We understand the pain because all of us even know people that's been affected. On top of education, Raleigh wants to help the state encourage safe drug disposal. Raleigh is also distributing 20,000 of these drug deactivation pouches across the state. All you have to do is fill the bag with warm water and then put your unwanted pills inside and they dissolve away safely and you can throw it away in this biodegradable pouch. Jim McClelland is the state's executive director for drug prevention, treatment, and enforcement. What we need to be doing is helping to prevent other people from becoming, uh, uh, from developing uh, uh, substance use disorders. Three out of four people reported that their first opioid was a prescription drug, and 70% of prescriptions remain unused and available for abuse. McClelland says that while we will make progress with this new grant, now is not the time to start relaxing. We need to pick up the pace wherever we can uh, and keep building. Building positive momentum and will end this crisis in a lot less time than it took to create it. McClelland shared with me his goals for 2019 to help bring down the numbers of abuse and addiction and death in our state from opioid addiction. Live in Lafayette, Anna Darling.